So, so far it looks like a letter. Most esteemed Ratadat. Is that how I say it? Ratadat? Ratadat. First of all, let me thank you for your letter in which you comprehensively explain your astonishing theory that a species as diverse as blood gifters belongs to the same classification as iridescent worms and medulla. Although the two nominally oh, wait, although the two <laughs> nominally belong in the same subkingdom, the small nations, I cannot agree that they should be placed within the same family. Consider this blood gifters, being the descendants of the terrestrial leeches, and assimilated into the star long ago by acquiring traits very different from those of their ancestors. Their nervous system, to give about one example, has undergone most significant changes. Thus far, um, thus far, it has been proven beyond example, um, beyond a doubt, <laughs> that they possess a rather separate brain with regards to the medulla. Although I do note certain similarities in terms of feeding behavior, the species is still far from developed from their mode of sustenance as a unifying factor. But what, pray tell, is the connection between the indigest the ingestion of large quantities of food hole and the blood gifter does in the medulla's mode of feeding on negative thoughts. Well, okay. <laughs> I suspect, my dear sir, that your research has been led by outdated information, something that is all too common in the human trees occasionally still found on our star. I do hope this letter has not caused offense. I urge you most sincerely to study this topic in greater depth before proposing such bold theories again. You have demonstrated a bright mind and great potential. I'm sure you'll get to grips with this controversial topic before too long, and our scientific community will be hearing your name again. Yours in perpetuity, Professor of, S of Species Studies, Radadat Mil. That was very good. <laughs> yeah. That was cool. Okay, so it looks like these are some of the animals that we have, and they're like, there's blood lifter, blood gri gifters, and does it like, does it still look like a worm or a leech? And does it like feed on your blood and your, and your like negative thoughts? Or is that how it's different from, or is that how it's different from the, from, uh, from the iridescent worms? Cause to me, what it's saying is that the medulla, like even though they are very similar, like the blood gifter, like feeds on actual blood and then the medulla is like negative thoughts. So it's like the medulla like a mind leech and the blood gifter is more of an actual leech. Yes, it is. Actually. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so glad that I got that right. <laughs> That's so cool. I'm I'm really glad that like my reading books has come in handy that I've been able to like actually comprehend what I'm reading. The first time with, yeah. with no idea of what's actually. Yeah, is. this is so cool, and I like that. I like that it's just like a like a like a little letter. Be like, hey, listen. <laughs> I know that you think that these are the same things, but they're not. I like how the first thing got the tone, like, right. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's like, I hope that it doesn't cause offense. <laughs> and, like, you will be talked about soon. It's just, get it right. <laughs> <laughs> so don't, don't come to me with no, with no faux information. Most esteemed Rabada, first of all, let me thank you for your letter in which you comprehensively explain your astonishing theory that the species as diverse as blood gifters belongs to the same classification as iridescent worms and medulla. Although the two nominally belong in the same sub-kingdom, the small nations, I cannot agree that they should be placed within the same family. Consider this blood gifters, being the descendants of terrestrial leeches, assimilate into the star long ago by acquiring traits very different from those ancestors. Their nervous system, to give but 
in one example, has undergone most significant changes. Thus far, it has been proven beyond a doubt that they possess a rather separate brain. With regards to the medulla, although I do note certain similarities in terms of feeding behavior, this species is still far from developing a solid brain and, do and does not even possess the rudiments of speech. I can do that again. Sorry. <laughs> okay, let's, let's do that again. Um, thus far, it has been proven beyond a doubt that they possess a rather separate brain. With regards to the medulla, although I do note certain similarities in terms of feeding behavior, this species is still far from developing a solid brain and does not even possess the rudiments of speech. You propose that their mode of sustenance is as a unifying factor, but what, pray tell, is the connection between the, indigest between the ingestion of large quantities of food whole, as the blood gifter does, and the medulla's mode of feeding on negative thoughts? I suspect my dear sir, that your research has been led by outdated information, something that is all too common in the human treatise occasionally still found on the star. I do hope that this letter has not caused offense. I urge you most sincerely to study this topic in greater depth before proposing such bold theories again. You may have demonstrated a bright mind and a great potential, and I am sure that you will get to grips with this controversial topic before too long, and our scientific community will be hearing your name again. Yours in perpetuity, Professor of the Species Studies, Rada Dot Mill. I'm not gonna lie, when you read that part again about, um, <laughs> where is it? When he's like, I suspect, my dear sir, that you're. Oh, yeah, that was when she good. said that part. My dear sir. Like, I know I've, I, I'm like, I read it before, she just said it, but like, when she, that last time, it hit me. I was like, wow, that is sassy. Like, yeah! <laughs> it's like, I suspect. My dear sir, that your research has been led by exactly. Like, if I was in the room, something that is when awesome I was coming. reading it, like when the person writing it, like say he's reading it out loud himself, and I heard that, I'd have been like, because <laughs> he's basically he's basically saying, yeah, exactly. you need to get your facts straight, <laughs> and all of y'all make this mistake. Exactly. <laughs> say that all of you make this mistake. Like listen. <laughs> Don't worry, I won't blame you for it. You just, you had misinformation. I won't blame you for it because everyone else like you has the same misinformation. And it's not your fault that you don't know anything. It's not your fault. Just get educated and then try and come back to me. <laughs> just listen, honey. Look up the definition of the words you use before you use them. I feel like that's just the energy of this whole life. <laughs> <Yes. laughs>